Hello, welcome to LearnToCook.com. I'm Chef Mark. Today we'll be learning how to bake a fish in the oven. I'm doing a fresh fish baked in a casserole dish. It's really a, a nice preparation. You can also use a frozen... <laughs> you can also use a frozen fish fillet if you want that. That bakes very nicely. If the fish is totally frozen, as this could be, this one inch steak, you want to bake it at a 300 degree oven in a casserole dish. And what's nice about baking a frozen fish, many times is all the natural flavors stay in the fish where it was frozen. Usually frozen on board ship with fresh water. So as opposed to defrosting fish, many times all that sea flavor exudes from the fish. So yeah, you can successfully bake fish frozen in a casserole dish. I've improved casserole dish. I have a wild caught catfish steak really nice really fresh has to smell the fish shouldn't smell like anything i have some infused olive oil on the bottom of the pan or my casserole dish a couple lemons for extra flavor lay my steak you see it's a steak because the spinal column is there in the fourth section so beautiful nice one inch don't buy your steaks any thinner than one inch so they don't curl up and have a nice meaty flavor on top of that I added a little more of that olive oil. And then I have, on top of the olive oil, some minced shallots. I have one tablespoon of minced shallots. I'm going to sprinkle on top of that. Around the casserole dish, I've taken three garlic cloves. I've sliced them thinly. I diced up some fresh tomato. And I also julienne or strip cut some beautiful sun-dried tomatoes. In addition to that, I have three black olives, as you can see, cut in strips. I like to get green olives because this is a beautiful color. Isn't that beautiful looking? And I'm going to spread that throughout my baked fish in the casserole. You want some of the fattier fishes bake up much nicer. You can bake swordfish, you can bake tuna, but remember swordfish tuna and shark are very lean, dry, so they cook very quickly. Catfish a little more oilier, bakes very nicely, just like mackerel would. So, as you can see, we have that. Let's finish it off with some white wine. A little liquid will help it steam. And then I'm going to put some foil, and I, since it's defrosted, I'm going to bake this in a high oven. So now we're going to put it into a 400 degree oven. All right, now our catfish is ready. You can see that it's still sizzling, which is beautiful. The nice colors, very tasty, looking good, nice and tender. Beautiful to serve that to your guests. You can put a, a, a few sprigs of basil if you like on that, and some uh, crushed black pepper, and serve it right on the table. And it's a beautiful baked catfish and casserole. Bon appetit.